Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. So I am going to show you in this video how you can cook the mustard greens and mustard greens are also very dark leafy greens. And some of the mustard greens could be a little bit lighter leafy greens but they are also full of nutrients so main thing is you have to wash them very good under running water and then finely chop them after you wash them you be sure to chop them finely and then we're going to cook it I'm basically cooking all the greens you add about one teaspoon of olive oil to your pan and then you add some cumin seed and you add a little bit of garlic about five six cloves chopped the more garlic you add better it tastes and at this point you can add a little bit of asafoetida and you can also add some green chili peppers if you like and that will bring up the taste really good and then I'm going to add the once this is brown then I'm going to add my mustard greens cut, clean cut and chopped and this cooks in 10 to 15 minutes just you add the greens and you add your spices and cover it up for 10 minutes and be sure not to add any water because this releases a lot of water and eating the greens is always very very good because all the greens have iron calcium and they have lots of fiber and they also have a lot of folic acid antioxidants and you know as uh, women we all have serious deficiency of um, iron and this uh, anemia and iron deficiency is usually caused by low folic acid so for all the women especially the women younger or middle age or older they all need to eat about two cups of leafy greens daily now this one i have some sauteed eggplant i'll be using that to uh, to make it a little bit more tasty i sauteed this eggplant in half a teaspoon oil previously and i kept them to add it to my mustard greens you can add sauteed eggplants to any of your greens and it brings out the taste really really good and now to this I'm going to add some spices so usually we add the basic spices like salt turmeric and some vegetable masala and crushed red pepper a little bit of garam masala if you wish and some hot spicy vegetable masala some green chili just to make it tasty and just cover for 10 minutes and it will release a lot of water and so you need to let the water get dry so cover it 10 minutes and then take off the cover and let the water get dried and then you just also add and daily cook any kind of leafy green and you can grow them in your garden very easy to grow especially mustard greens so this is my mustard green and today's video i'm going to be showing you many different kinds of hi today i'm going to show you how to make bok choy the chinese cabbage now to make the chinese cabbage you need to wash it very very well 
because it usually has a lot of mods so wash the cabbage very very well and then just chop it into small small pieces bite sized pieces and then in a pan have a little bit of oil and this oil is like about a teaspoon and to that I'm going to roast the garlic just be sure to add a pinch of asafoetida, about a pinch, a little bit of cumin seed, about a teaspoon and then let it roast until it becomes like brown. It will just be a minute or so and roasting the garlic brings flavor so anytime you cook any greens be sure to roast the asafoetida, garlic and the cumin seed and when it's roasted nicely it will um, give out a beautiful flavor but be sure not to burn it because if you burn it then your greens are going to taste better so just be patient and give it a minute until it roast and roast it in medium to low heat and now once it's roasted add your bok choy or any kind of greens that you wish to make and the cooking green takes a lot of patience because the main thing is cleaning the green and then finally chopping it I'm going to add some salt to taste and then little bit of turmeric and now a little bit of turmeric about half a teaspoon a little bit of vegetable masala and you can add to this one a little bit of crust red chili pepper with some spicy vegetable masala or you can add green chili pepper or red chili pepper itself just to give it a little spicy flavor now cooking bok choy is easy because it gets done within 10 minutes so you cover it for 10 minutes and it will be done and now uh, it releases a lot of water so do not add any water and cook it medium to low heat until it's cooked no more than 10 minutes leave it little bit crunchy so this is the bok choy and it's uh, flaming hot and really yummy so it's really awesome to taste so today we're going to show you how to make the kale and this kale is also very dark leafy green and winter time it grows a lot and you should cook it as much as possible as often as possible because as you know winters I mean eating greens really good for you you can mm, actually get rid of winter cold by just eating greens every day or not even catch a cold because it raises your immunity gives you a lot of antioxidant benefits and it has a lot of calcium iron and kale is best to eat cooked uh, uncooked kale usually um, too much problem for people especially with the people with thyroid problem so you, you thoroughly wash them chop them then you have a big container full of water like big pot full of water and on that i'm going to drop them and just leave it with just heating up or cooking boiling water just for five minutes just to soften them a little bit because kale is very hard and it's also very hard to digest if you don't cook it properly since it has very hard texture and it has lots of lots of fiber so any 
greens which is a little bit hard and rough and very dark leafy green has lots of fiber really good for you you can cook this one all by itself or you can cook it with lots of other vegetables you can cook it with lentils and if you do cook it with lentils or lots of other vegetables you will see it's really awesome for your body so I'm going to eat up some oil like one teaspoon oil and to that I'm going to put some peanut just little bit brown in this kale I'm going to use some peanuts and this peanut kale tastes so 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 awesome like you would really love it and you can use it as an evening snack too so I'm just going to add the peanuts and saute it little bit so it just gets uh, mixed properly just going to brown it little bit and make sure not to burn it just warm up it's a little bit brownish and then I will drain all the kale from the water and squeeze out as much water as possible leave very little water because we have already boiled it i'm going to add some spices to this peanut now now first i'm going to add some cumin seed as a florida about one teaspoon of cumin seed and uh, about a pinch of as a florida and four or five cloves of garlic Whenever you're cooking greens, be sure to add four or five cloves of garlic chopped. That brings out the taste. So, we're just going to add this one to the warm oil and cook it till brown. Be sure not to burn any of this. And just keep it close eye and just keep the flame in medium to low not very high or everything will burn quickly and after we add this little bit I'm going to add some spicy vegetable masala with red chili pepper a little bit garam masala a little bit salt a little bit turmeric and a little bit just regular vegetable masala you can add any other masalas if you wish and you can add some green chili pepper that will give the taste so it looks like my peanuts have sauteed now it's been a minute and it's just uh, enough brown and now I'm going to just remove it and keep it in a bowl you can add the kale directly to it or you can just add the kale and cook it and then add the peanuts all the way at the end that way the peanuts stays crunchy so I'm just going to use my pan again to cook the kale now this is the drain water this already drained and I made it little bit dry because it will release more water anyway and I have added little bit of oil about one teaspoon and then I'm going to add my cumin seed and a sephorita and roast it and I'm going to add the five six chopped garlic after this been roasted a little bit all the greens are cooked pretty much same way and you can add more vegetables to it you can add eggplant you can add potatoes you can add any kind of vegetable that you wish and then eat it, it even add some lentils so this more vegetable you add in greens they're good for balancing the blood sugar and they're good for digestion and they're good for 
constipation and also they're good for um, getting rid of fat storage from the body so we should daily basis we eat like two to three cups of greens and then our stomach will be really clean greens are like brooms washes the stomach so my garlic is pretty much sauteed and this is takes little bit time because you need to do it the right way you need to saute the garlic till brown and, and then first you need to brown the peanuts if you're going to add peanuts adding peanuts to any of these um, greens really makes it good now i'm going to add the um, green kale green so you see the garlics are roasted now and then i drain the water out for the kale and tear it and just cook it for 10 to 15 more minutes and cover it if you wish otherwise the kale's already cooked so we're just going to mix it with the spices and saute it for 10 minutes to give it a nice taste and at the end we're going to add the sauteed peanuts so I'm getting salt a little bit turmeric and then we're going to add the vegetable masala and we're going to add a little bit of garam masala and we're going to add the vegetable masala with the red crust chili pepper and now mixing all this and just cover it and cook it for to 15 minutes until they are fully cooked it's not a good idea to eat kale raw or undercooked because kale has a lot of fiber and also they are goitrogenic so they might create problem with if you have thyroid problems so you need to cook it thoroughly not eat raw raw juice or anything and I made my flame very low and I'm going to cook it in the low flame just gonna cover it just put a cover in it and cook it in low flame for about 10 to 15 minutes and now you see my kale with peanuts and garlic ready and this is tastes so awesome and this tastes so good with brown rice cooked brown rice and eat it with a bowl of kale I just added the peanuts and these peanuts will stay crunchy because I added them all the way at the very end that keeps the peanut crunchy this this is so good if you eat it you just would like to eat the whole thing and try to put like one or two red chili pepper while you're cooking the cumin seed as a porita and the garlic that time you drop one or two red chili pepper so the taste even increases with that so this is how you can cook kale and make it extremely yummy in this video i'm going to show you how to cook the pumpkin greens to cook pumpkin greens so you need to clean the pumpkin greens very well and then chop it very finely usually the pumpkin greens have a lot of dirt in it so wash it under running water 
and then chop it into uh, very tiny small pieces after you clean and wash it and they do will to very little so you have to cook kind of a lot and you can take the soft stems as you know all the greens have a lot of iron and calcium so the soft stems also contain a lot of nutrients so don't throw them and the pumpkin leaves choose them very soft small leaves they taste good so main thing is you clean it and then you chop it very little pieces like finely and after that we're going to cook it with some olive oil so i have started with uh, one teaspoon of olive oil to that i put a little bit of cumin seed and four or five cloves of garlic chopped and now they need to be brown little bit and once they are brown little bit then i'm going to just add the pumpkin leaves and they will cook about 10 to 15 minutes covered and within 10 to 15 minutes they are cooked and they get wilted and just make them a little bit soft not too soft and do not put any water because they release a lot of water and so just make sure you dry the water up and then you can eat this with the brown rice or bread or just by itself because it's really tastes good mm, and these are very dark leafy greens and they're full of fiber as you know dark leafy greens are really good to eat anytime especially in winter because they have a lot of fiber and they protect you from catching a cold and because they raise your immunity so it's very good to eat a lot of leafy greens and you can eat big big bowls or plates because their calorie content is very little so this is how you can cook pumpkin greens and they're really really awesome and they're dark leafy greens so so I'm going to share with you how to make this radish green. Now this radish green are dark leafy greens and you can get it at any grocery store and they are really really awesome, very tasty. Now remember this radish greens uh, have little bit of radish shoot at the bottom so you can chop it off and if you have the patience and you have the place to regrow them you can just chop it off from little bit at the top and take it in your backyard and just put it under the soil again and they will grow what I do usually I tie it up uh, with the rubber band like few of them together and just put it under the soil and it starts growing again now this green has to be cleaned very very good and chop them finely and be sure to chop all the stems and clean them because stems we usually try to throw it away but it has a lot of nutrition so we should not throw them away we should cut it clean it chop it and then we need to cook it and this one if you just saute it is not going to be soft it's going to be very hard so you need to do little bit of boiling so you need to boil like five minutes put it five minutes in boiling water that will make the stem soft so here i'm boiling water in a big container and i'm going to boil the water once the water is boiled then i'm going to drop all my chopped green leafy greens only this is done only for the 
red is green and mustard green because you see the red is green and the mustard green the stems are very hard and strong so we want to make the stems a little bit soft now another pan i have i'm heating up one teaspoon of olive oil and i'm going to i already boil this greens and drain the water out so you should just drain the water out after you boil the greens and now i'm going to saute it to this new pan which i put on the stove with one teaspoon of olive oil so this olive oil i'm just going to put the regular spices like little bit of uh, asafoetida cumin seed some chili pepper and some garlic so add the cumin seed garlic and asafoetida first and then the chili pepper at the last because chili pepper will smell and might smoke too so we're going to add all this and cook it for one minute until this is little bit of roasted now asafoetida and cumin seed are great for your digestion and asafoetida also alleviates depression so you should use asafoetida for the purpose of digestion and depression and then i'm going to roast it for a minute or so until it gives out a great aroma but not burn don't burn it and then i will add all the greens which i strain the water after boiling for five minutes and by boiling this the fat is greens you won't have any gas otherwise red is green causes a lot of gas so you need to drop it in boil water for five minutes and then drain it out now i'm going to add it and cook it for 10 minutes then cover it and cook it for 10 minutes and then this is really tastes so good once you have radish green for once you will want to have it all the time and usually when i make like eight stock of them when i finish in whole day and then you will have the best moth for your digestive system it sweeps and moths the entire digestive system is like a broom all these greens and all these greens are extremely extremely important it helps the body get rid of all the toxins and add some salt about a teaspoon depending on how much you need according to your taste little bit of turmeric now this is the only place you eat turmeric turmeric you cook it with your food and eat it you do not make a tea with a cup of water and turmeric and drink it because that is just going to heat up your liver and give you a lot of problems later on so you eat cook the turmeric with your food uh, one teaspoon so if you're making some greens everybody's supposed to eat some greens daily not grains greens green vegetables daily and to that you add some oil some pepper you can add black pepper you can add red pepper and that's the time you add turmeric one teaspoon half a teaspoon whatever you feel like and that's turmeric eaten that way is good for your body now you cover it up so I added some turmeric salt, little bit of curry powder or just vegetable powder, some garam masala and crushed chili peppers, black pepper, red chili pepper. So this is uh, vegetable masala and I'm going to add some roasted and crushed cumin seeds this is coriander and cumin seed together roasted and crust roast them and crust them 
in a coffee grinder and keep it and that brings a lot of aroma to the food and that is very good for digestion and this is just you're going to saute it like that because remember this is already 50% cook when we boil it so I'm just going to saute it a little bit and cover it up for 10 minutes in a very low heat and then we're just going to just take it out after 10 minutes and it's done and it does not require so much spices it has its own taste and it's just awesome awesome for the body for the gut for the digestive system and you know the best part is these things are so cheap too you can get these greens any grocery store uh, oriental grocery store usually h mart grand mart all those marts you can get it for three for a dollar four for a dollar sometimes six for two dollar so well, usually i see six for two dollars and i get it six of them because once you clean it cut it cook it it's very little now you see it's this much and i can finish that in one second. Hi, thank you so, so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you. May God bless you all.